Blocker stars Wesley Mann, Ike Barinholtz, and John Cena. Three parents are trying to stop their daughters from having sex on prom night. Kay Connor directed Blockers. It's her directorial debut. She wrote the Pitch Perfect trilogy, which I skipped. I seen the Pitch Perfect 3 trailer. It was awful. I had zero anticipation for Blockers. I haven't seen the trailer. I only seen a couple of TV spots. They were fine. I seen the trailer yesterday. Yeah, it was lame. I heard Blockers has good buzz, so I got curious. I seen it Sunday afternoon. I seen Ready Player One again last night. I had to see it again. If you haven't read the book, grab it. Anyway, I enjoyed Blockers. It's a hilarious, raunchy comedy. Leslie Mann plays Lisa, a single mom. She's really close to her daughter. She doesn't date, or rarely anyway, so she's afraid to die alone, which may sound like a minor spoiler. She's the brains behind this operation, so you could say she's the normal person or the voice of reason. Ike Barinholtz plays Hunter, an easygoing nerdy dad. I'm sure lots of people feel he's a douche. He got divorced, he rarely spends time with his daughter, so their relationship is really strained. I looked up Ike on Wikipedia. I unknowingly seen him in the Neighbors movies and Suicide Squad. I enjoyed them. I'm not saying Suicide Squad was good. It was okay. I haven't seen it since it first came out, but i seen a few clips on YouTube. John Cena plays Mitch, an overprotective emotional dad, plus he's not really smart. I guess everyone agrees Mitch is, is the funniest character. John is brilliant at comedy. He'll definitely make more comedies. He finally found what he's good at. I remember he tried being an action star. It didn't work out. I tried watching 12 rounds twice. It was awful. The girls easily could have been plot devices, but that's not the case. They have chemistry and personality. Hunt, Hunter's daughter is shy, but the other girls are outgoing. They honestly talk like boys, you know, men wrote blockers. I heard raunchy comedies generally feature boys seeking sex, but blockers is one major exception. Blockers is hilarious, I laughed a lot. It's raunchy, it has plenty of cursing and sexual language. However, it's not completely immature, it has a brain. It has some clever jokes, plus it has heart. The heartfelt conversations feel genuine, they don't feel forced or sappy. Blockers is briskly paced. I never felt bored. I guess some people feel the pacing is clunky because there are a few pointless scenes like the vomiting scene. The kids are riding in a limo, they get drunk, and they vomit heavily. I'm sure some people were disgusted. Blockers was originally called Cock Blockers, but the advertisers protested it, so the title was changed. This reminds me of the Seth Rogen movie, Zack and Mary Make a Porno, which was fine. The word porno is taboo, so the complete title was shown only late at night. That movie was a tough sell, so it bombed. Blockers gets a B. It's a hilarious, raunchy comedy, nothing more. The cast was good, they have good chemistry. John Cena is brilliant at comedy. As raunchy Blockers is, it has brains and, and heart. I'm sorry my review is lacking. You know, I'm not chatty, plus I don't have much to say. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. My Twitter link is down below. Let me know what you think of Blockers. Did you like it or hate it? I'm excited for Rampage. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.